Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Planner. Microsoft Planner is a, a to-do list. It's available for both Android and iOS. If you're interested in finding more out about the iOS app, then click in the banner on the top right-hand corner and you can watch my guide to using the iOS app. So down the left-hand side, just to let's navigate through the page, we can create new plans. These are new to-do lists. Planner Hub brings you to this bit where you can view all of your to-do lists or you can look at particular tasks that have been assigned to you by clicking on my tasks. As you can see, tasks that have been assigned and progress there. So let's create a new plan. So we can go in and create a new plan. So we'll call this James Video Demo. We can choose public, so it's visible to all in the organization or private. I'm gonna keep it private. Uh, you could put in a, a, an optional description if you want it. So we'll keep it private. I'm going to click Create Plan. I'll just take a moment to create the plan. Having created the plan, the first thing we can do is add buckets. So these are different categories within your to-do list. So click on the bucket. If you were a student on a Access or an A-level course, you could potentially do the topics that you're studying. Or if you're a student on a vocational course, it may be that you do the units that you're studying. And you just put in the names that you want. So we could add, let's add a couple more. Topic two and topic three. So we've got our three topics. To add tasks, we can click on add task. We can put the title of the task. And then we can edit that by clicking on it. We can assign it. So if we were working with a, a, a fellow student, we could, we could assign a task to them. We can add labels. So we could edit one of the labels. So it could be we have labels related to the topics we're studying. So we can make that history. We can set its status as in progress. We could have a, an end date of when it's due by. We could add notes. We could add elements to a, a to-do list. And this is really useful if you've got a multi-component task or activity that you're needing to do. It's great to have that and then to be able to tick off the different components as you go. You can obviously move and reorder elements up and down and you can obviously delete elements or tick them as complete. You can add attachments and they can be added either from the computer so if I was to do from computer, I could add an attachment. So let's just do a random screenshot that I have on my desktop. And that would appear there. And I could also show that on the card. And I can choose to either show my notes on the card, my checklist on the card, or attachments. I can also add comments. And it will suggest attachments based on what you've downloaded or what you've been doing previously. So having got that, I can then close that and you can see it's now put that image attachment there. If I come up to schedule, I can see any deadlines of tasks that I've got. So at a glance, I can see any deadlines. If I go to plan settings, I can do a number of things. I can delete the plan, but I can also customize the background. So if I go back to the board, you can see now I've got a purple background. So if you've got multiple different to-do lists as I have, it's really nice to have a different background behind each one so you know which one is which. So let me go back to my demo one. Having got tasks there, let's add one more task. So we'll call this James234. We can move tasks between buckets. So that's quite nice. Moving things between buckets as you go. Click on the three dots. You can export a plan to Excel. So it's good to have a, a, an Excel sheet of all of the, the to-dos that you've got written down. And you can also filter stuff relating to when it's due or relating to a particular label and it will just show the elements that you want. So it's 
really flexible. What I like about it, the filter thing is really useful because you can filter just the tasks maybe with the deadline of this week. Or you can filter just the tasks relating to a particular topic that you're doing. So that's the filter function. I like that you can move stuff between uh, the different to topics and have different buckets. And generally, I just like the ease at which I can add all of that information to my task. So there you have it. I think Planner is a great way to help yourself keep organized. Either use it for capturing your homework and managing that, so you know when you've got the different homework tasks to be submitted. Or it could be if you're on a more of a vocational course, it could be that the different activities that you do, you, you set up as part and use Planner as part of that. I have seen people use it for making notes. So if we add a task there, we put in the class that we've got, that we're in, click onto that, and we could make notes in the comments section or in the notes section. So you can use it just as a way of capturing notes, um, and you could add attachments in the form of images that you've taken off the screen. So there are lots of ways that you can use it. As I say, it's available for both Android and iOS, so you can see it on the move as well as access it via the browser. And I think it's a great way to help you keep organized and keep abreast of what's what. And as I said, you can jump to the schedule and see exactly where you've got deadlines for that week. So I hope you found that useful. I think it's a great way to keep yourself organized during the term. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.